Hi, my name is Evan Taylor, and I'm a consultant at Voluble Insights, a company that specializes in using social media data and other online data in commercial litigation. In this video, I'll be discussing the ways in which social media can act as a signal of activities that take place in the real world, and also how the things that happen on social media can drive real world impacts beyond online communities. While some may think that there is a clear divide between a person's online and offline activities, research suggests that there is a relationship between the two. For instance, academic research shows that social media is a reliable source of information about consumer opinion. Researchers have also relied on social media data to inform public health, predict the movement of financial markets, and gauge opinions on political candidates. In the corporate world, managers expend substantial energy and resources to better understand consumer perceptions. Traditional tools such as consumer surveys and focus groups are increasingly being replaced by, or at least supplemented with, analyses of online consumer conversations. Firms monitor social media to gain deeper insight into their customers' preferences and purchase behaviors, to proactively identify possible areas of concern, and to identify new market opportunities. Sophisticated brand managers often find themselves acting as both producers and consumers of social media, generating branded social media content of their own while listening to consumers' voices in tandem. More than ever, social media can serve as both a signal and a driver of real-world events. But despite an established academic and corporate track record on the relevance and value of social media data, its use in litigation is a relatively new phenomenon. In this presentation, I'll highlight two examples of how social media can be relevant to a case, both as a signal of offline activity and as a driver of it. The first example I'll share relates to the online reaction to a controversial Super Bowl ad. In March 2019, Miller Coors, now known as Molson Coors, sued Anheuser-Busch, the maker of Bud Light, for suggesting in a widely viewed Super Bowl ad that Miller Light and Coors Light beers contain corn syrup. Miller Coors believed that the ad contained false and misleading statements about its products. The ad campaign featured multiple commercials that ran during the Super Bowl, as seen on the left, which were also accompanied by billboards, as seen on the right. In this instance, activities in the real world, television ads at the Super Bowl, resulted in a measurable reaction on social media. Social media captured the real-time reactions of countless football fans as they watched the ad and began sharing their comments online. In the first post displayed here on the top, a consumer responded directly to Miller Lite explaining their intention to switch products due to their disapproval of corn syrup. In the post on the bottom, a consumer is shown repeating the claims in the ad, lamenting the idea that their beer contains corn. Posts like these helped inform a study of consumer interpretation of the claims of the TV ad, which contributed to Miller Coors winning a partial preliminary injunction against Anheuser-Busch. Unfortunately for Miller Coors, due to the interpretation of the word ingredient, the ruling for a preliminary injunction was later overturned on appeal. The second example I'll share is the recent bank run on Silicon Valley Bank. The bank run on SVB led to the failure of the institution, making it the third largest bank failure in US history. In this instance, activities on social media, namely sensationalist posts about the likelihood of bank failure and financial market crashes, resulted in a measurable reaction in the real world. What's remarkable about the failure of SVB is the central role that social media played in its collapse. In this case, the impact of social media activity extended beyond the virtual realm and had devastating real-world consequences. It has been called the first Twitter-fueled bank run, highlighting the role that Twitter conversations played in reducing confidence in SVB. The posts shown here are examples of the type of messages that were spreading on Twitter. They questioned SVB's solvency, highlighted the risk of a bank run, encouraged people to withdraw their funds, and even suggested that SVB's troubles could have broader implications for the US economy. Many of the messages came from prominent accounts that generated millions of impressions and thousands of engagements. Researchers have examined the role of Twitter in influencing depositor behavior during this event, shedding light on the interconnectedness of online platforms and offline events. One study found that the intensity of Twitter conversations about Silicon Valley Bank actually amplified behavior that facilitated the bank run. This finding suggests that social media has the potential to be a new type of risk for banks, as depositors can coordinate their actions in ways that were previously challenging or even impossible. Historically, bank runs tended to be geographically limited. However, 
Social media now allows the established word of mouth effects that lead to bank runs to occur on a much larger scale. The study's insights highlight the power of social media in shaping real world outcomes, demonstrating how online conversations can influence market behavior and potentially trigger significant financial events. An analysis of social media discourse will undoubtedly be an important element in any litigation that arises from this event. Whatever the origin of the problem, and whether the phenomenon of interest takes place online or offline, social media data can be informative and impactful. In many cases, an understanding of online discourse can offer insight into the offline impacts. If you have a case where you think an analysis of online media could be useful, please reach out to us. Our team would be happy to review the details of your case and provide an initial assessment of what type of analysis would be possible free of charge.